Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to do a little tiny video just to show you how to do a magic ring real close up so that you can see it very clearly. This one um, is, is going out to Courtney Clues who's having a bit of a, a tricky time doing the magic ring. So I'm going to do each stitch in a different colour just to make it really obvious which which stitch we're working in, etc. So I'm going to start by doing my first um, band in a navy blue. And we're using our loom to make the magic ring. It makes it a little easier. I'm using a, um, I'm going to use my 2.75 hook, which is a little bit smaller, as you can see, than my four. All right. So use your loom facing the opposite way so the open part of the peg is facing away from you or the arrow is facing away from you take your first band and you're going to place it on a single peg and you're going to twist it once and twice by twisting it twice you have three little loops on your peg okay now what we're going to do is push our hook through those and we're using the space the gap of our peg to be able to get our hook through my first band is going to be a pink we're going to make a magic ring with five well we can do six um, bands okay and different patterns require you to make um, to have different numbers of, of uh, bands in the magic ring so our first one we're going to take our pink band on the end of our hook and we're going to draw it up so that it is like that on that blue band. Replace it on your hook. You're going to take the side closest to you up and over and off your hook completely. And you've basically made a little slip knot. Now you're going to budge that around so that it's out the way. Leave this little loop on your hook. Our next colour we'll use green. So we're going to go in again through the peg, grab your band and I'm using green for this one, pull it through and again have it on your hook. Take the side that's closest to the end of your hook of the green up and over. So you now have a little pink slip knot and a little green slip knot. Now to join these together you're going to take the pink one up and over the green like that so that it's kind of knotted in and then let's again move that around so that we have room at the front here leaving this green band on to push our hook down the centre of our peg again. Let's grab a different colour. I'm going to use a blue, a light blue put it on the end of my hook, drag it through and reclaim. Take the closest end to the end of your hook up and over and join them together by moving the green over the blue like that. You can see how we have these little teardrop shapes forming. There's our pink one which is our first stitch and a green one which is our second stitch. We've used three bands, we need to use three more. Budget around, push your hook back down, still with your blue band on there. Let's do a yellow one, pull it through and reclaim. One over the other so you have a slip knot. And then take the blue over the yellow so it's joined. Budget around, Push your hook back down through the blue. Let's grab a different one. Let's do a purple. Pull it through. One over the other. And the yellow over the purple. All right, and we'll do one more. This time we'll do, I'm trying to think what color we'll do this time. How about a black one? Push your hook through drag it, grab one band and do a little slip knot, grab the purple and join it. So you have one loop left on your hook, the black one. Take this off your loom, you don't need your loom. Now, 
you're going to spread these out. At the minute, it looks a bit like a semicircle. But if we just gently ease these stitches around, you find that you have your little circle. Now, we've got one stitch, which is pink, two, three, four, five. Our sixth stitch is this black one that is still on our hook. Okay, just gonna make sure we're in focus. Once we add this to the pink, once we join it, that will be our sixth stitch. To join it, there are a couple of ways. You can do a slip stitch, which will join it, but but you, you're just gonna, um, how best can I describe this to you? If you were doing a slip stitch, it's very nice to be able to move to another color without it sort of looking like you've done that too badly. Um, if you just do a spiral, it will just keep going round and round and round, but you will see where the colors change. So a slip stitch is where you take one band, and I'm taking a navy blue, slide it through the pink, and then slide it through the black. So you've got both of them on that band at the same time, and then you reclaim and put one over the other. So as you can see, if I was changing color so that this next round would be white, that would be quite a good way of doing it. If we were to just do a continuation, and I'll just put my black loop back on. If we were doing a continuation, we're just doing a spiral, all right, you would put your hook through your first stitch and you would do a single crochet. So you pull it through and you reclaim and you take the one closest to you of the navy blue up and over and then you join your black one like that. Now usually when we do a magic ring we do two of each stitch, to two single crochets in each of these stitches to increase it, that's called an increase. So when you're asked for an increase you're going to go back in through the same stitch. Do you see how my first navy blue is in that pink which is my first stitch? I would go back through that and do a second single crochet in that same stitch. All right, and then again, you join them together by moving one over the other. So that's two stitches, two blue stitches in my pink stitch. Do you see that? If I was doing a single stitch, a single crochet, I would just take one band and go through the stitch and just do a single crochet and join it like that. But that's not going to increase the size, the diameter. All right. You're always going through both of these loops unless told otherwise. If you're going through the inside, you go here. If you go through the outside loop, you go through here. But we have been working in both loops. So you go through those. All right. So when you're doing your increase, you would go back through the green, grab your second band, and do your second stitch in. To do your third stitch, go in. And again, we're gonna do an increase. So take your band and do your first single crochet. And then you'd go back through that same stitch. See, I'm still in the blue to do your second crochet like that. So in the yellow, if we're doing two single crochets for an increase, go in, take your first stitch like that, single crochet, and then go back in the yellow and do your second single crochet. All right, so that's how we do the magic ring. I hope that helps, Courtney. I really do look forward to seeing you do some of these. Take care. Bye-bye.